It was a cold and windy day for our walk to the Mount Franklin summit. A relatively short walk of three kilometres returned from the car park. Estimated 1.5 hours walking time. Of course, we are not in a hurry. So often these walks take a bit longer as we walk off track for a geocache or to admire the scenery, views, shapes in the trees, flowers, insects, etc. This walk is on a fairly obvious track, during fair weather and suitable for all ages. There are information signs along the way, the day use shelter that replaces the long, use, the long gone Mount Franklin chalet, as well as toilets. Mount Franklin is inside the Namadji National Park, itself part of the Australian Alps National Parks that stretch from southeast Victoria through New South Wales and the ACT. Mount Franklin was the northernmost of all ski fields in Australia when it operated, and while today it takes less than an hour in the car from the centre of Canberra, visits by the Canberra Alpine Club members would have taken a bit longer and been more perilous when the chalet was open to operation. In the early years, people would arrive on a trailer towed by Bill Jin behind his truck. The journey included crossing river fords and dealing with deep snow drifts and falling trees. Today, this track can be accessed most of the time in a standard two-wheel drive vehicle. Of course, when it does snow, the roads may be closed, and so checking the conditions is important on any day. The first expeditions to find a suitable spot for the ski field were in the early to mid 1930s and in the late 1930s Bill Jin's hut, a simple slab hut, was built to provide some shelter and refreshments. The subsequent Mount Franklin Chalet opened on the 2nd of July 1938 and remained in use until the late 1960s when the club members were moving further afield. The building remained as a shelter until it was lost in the January 2003 bushfires. The chalet consisted of 15 bunk beds, 30 beds in total, in the upstairs section, and a large living area, kitchen, bathrooms and storage area below. The chalet was heated from the large kitchen and living room stoves, with flues used to direct the heat to the upstairs area. For the first 20 years, skiers were required to walk back up the mountain after their downhill runs, resulting in very little time skiing and a lot of time walking. In 1957, the first ski tow was installed, using a Harley Davidson motorcycle to power a basic ski tow. This was known as the Brumby tow. Eight years later, a wrecked Austin A40 was installed to power the slalom ski run at the top of the mountain.
The mountain looks quite different today from the photos at the day shelter. A lot of area was cleared of trees and rocks to provide a suitable ski area. After more than 50 years without formal ski activities, the trees and shrubs have recovered and then were lost again during the 2003 bushfires. The mountain looks quite different today and old ski infrastructure such as the wheels for the ski toes are slowly being consumed by the bush. The Austin A40 stands out in a clearing but the ski runs have returned to nature. When the ski club was in its prime, people would ski to it in the area, including overnight trips. Camping in the area is no longer permitted, with the whole region part of the Canberra Water Supply, or Cotter Catchment Area. Looking toward the west, you can sometimes see some of the Canberra suburbs on a clear day. Not that we had much luck on such a cold and cloudy day. This demonstrates how the bush capital retains its name a national capital surrounded by the Australian bush landscape. Reflecting on today's bushwalking activities, we have walked from the same car park at Mount Franklin to Pryor's Hut, a common expedition point for the Canberra Ski Club. From there, we've also walked on to Mount Janini. Using the Alpine walking track today, it is possible to walk from the Nomadji Visitor Centre at the foot of Mount Tennant to the ACT's highest mountain, Bimbury Peak, and then on to Victoria and South Gibson. In the 1960s, such a trip from Mount Franklin to Mount Bimbury was a big challenge, with no trail, deep, soft snow, and tangled snow gums to snare the skis. Thanks for watching our trip to Mount Franklin in the ACT. Remember to follow us if you like watching our hiking videos, and press the thumbs up to show us that you enjoy these videos. We are not in a hurry.